All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Fallout 3, Part 23. All right, so we are now at 183 people killed in 14 days for our man Trenton here. And he's only about 600 experience away from level 14. This might be the first time all game that our level is lower than how many days have passed. We'll see. If we don't hit level 14 by the end of today... And it's already 11 in the morning, so actually we do have like a full day ahead of us. If we don't hit level 14 today, then the amount of days passed will finally surpass what level we are. Because we are leveling up extremely quickly. Somewhat because Trenton already has 500 kills to his name. Alright, let's keep getting lost. Mason District, here we come. Hubris Comics. God damn, we just, we can't. We, we're so lost. We're so lost. Hey, Dean's Electronics, hello. We'll take that repair. Okay. Whew, what do we got? Where's the Hubris Comics? I kind of want to... Kind of want to go to Hubris Comics. Okay, what are we looking at? What are the enemies? More Super Mutants? Looks like it. And a replacement minigun. Let's go with uh, two brutes. Oh no, there's a. Damn it, we can't shoot him there. Ne right next to a survivor. Got him. Ah. Ooh, oh my god. Oh my god. Whoo! That's a lot of threats. Ah, damn. Come on, shot. Oh my god, it's it's in poor repair. It takes forever to reload. How did we miss him? Oh god, this thing. There we go, nice. Alright, here we go, dog meat. Get ready. We're going in. Oh shit. Bug, buff out taken. Psycho taken. Come on. We got a lot of fighting ahead of us. This is going to be our toughest battle yet. Oh. Wait a second. We have a nuclear grenade just for this moment, don't we? Yeah. Okay. This is this is the moment we've been waiting for. This is the time to use it. Did that really not do anything? Holy shit. Okay. Let's two tap the super mutant. Get this guy out of here. Should be easy to get out of the way. Okay. This guy here? Hang in there, dog meat. How's dog meat doing? He's doing well. He's doing well. <sighs> did we take the psycho? I don't know. I hit the button, but we did. Buff up and psycho, yeah. Okay. Dog meat! He's doing fine. He's doing fine. Super mutant brute with a minigun. Bam! Bam! Get him out of here. Oh my god. Dog meat, you absolute legend. That is a good boy, dog meat. Good boy. That is awesome. Wow. That was so much pressure we were under right there. And dog meat made it much more manageable. Let's repair our minigun. Excellent. Oh. A lot of brutes. Almost all of them were brutes. There was one standard super mutant. At least none of them were a master. I'm, I'm telling you, dog meat just soaks it up. What a tanky monster dog meat is. All right, now we can go save that guy. Oh, where is Hubris Comics though? I'm kind of confused about that. Shot his leg off. Oh, you're gonna be okay. Well, we're in combat. Oh shit! Don't hit the don't hit the guy. Come on. Damn. Just a standard super mutant. Easy. Easy. Get him out of here. Whew. 
Woohoo! There's a bank over there. Maybe Hubris Comics is one of those. Hard to say. No, there it is. <gasps> Supermans have bound the captain for transportation. The ropes are digging to his wrist. He's obviously suffering from their abuse. Untie him. My... Thank you. Thank you so much. I thought I was dead for sure. Here, I managed to hide these supplies before they tied me up. You take them. It's the best I can do to thank you. No, you'll need it more than I will. You're right. It's dangerous out here. I... I have to go before more of them come. I wish you the best of luck. Uh, could we go in Hubris Comics or no? Was it was it not letting us in? There was no door or anything? Just double checking. Uh, I don't think those doors open. Do they? Is there a door here? Oh my god, Hubris Comics! Here we go, dog meat. Hubris Comics Publishing. Okay. The other guy ran in here, but I think he was just despawning, if I'm being honest. I don't, I don't think he's actually in here. So I'll pretend I didn't see that. Here was Comics Terminal. Air conditioning controls. Release schedule. Uh, Captain Cosmos, Truth, Justice, and the Space American Way. Kid Wacky, Zamy Hijinks, Grognak the Barbarian, Revenge of the Mansaurian. Tales from the Front, Alaska Unbound, July. Grognak salute to the troops. Tales from the front. Liberated Canada. Captain Cosmos invasion of the Black Planet. Drake Tungsten. Chrono Cowboy. August. Tales from the front. The Red Terror. Underground Life. Vault Boy Special. Grognak the Barbarian and Axe for all ages. <laughs> Captain Cosmos the radioactive spaceman from space. Spaceman from space. Requiem for an antagonist. Grognak the Bar Barbarian is an excellent comic for many reasons, but one of the most widely respected ones is the depth of its villains. From the cold-blooded manipulations of the man Sarian to the love-hate romance with Femra, <laughs> Femra, the stories of Grognak's enemies are every bit as fascinating as his own tales. Is that supposed to be like He-Man and She-Ra? Is that that's what those references are to? But for my money, no tale is more tragic and more fascinating than that of the antagonizer. Hey! Well, never developed as fully as major villains like Skullpocalypse of Mastodonald. The, the portrait of the orphan girl raised by ants and instilled with a bitter hatred of humanity has tremendous potential for reader connection and possible redemption. However, in Grognak and the Ants of Agony, Mr. Neptura threw away all of that potential by simply treating the antagonizer as a two-dimensional villain with a feudal and pointless grudge against mankind. His writing replaced their subtle undertones of lost humanity and tragically lost innocence with the worst sort of mustache twirling cliched dialogue. It was an offense to a deep and tragic character. Oh my god, is this <laughs> is this one of those like uh, basement dwellers writing a report about how they didn't like how the story turned out? I love it. Now a hack like that continues to find work in comic how a hack like that continues to find work in comics is beyond my comprehension. Hubris Comics should fire him and return the series to the capable hands of Mr. Morellis. Until that time, I refused to buy another comic from that you from what used to be my favorite publisher, Obsessed in Oakmont. <laughs> Beta testing notice. Beginning Monday, members of the Grognax Little Heathens fan club will begin visiting the offices to participate in beta testing our reign of Greylock software. Participants must fill out our participation agreement and should be directed to the testing station 15 minutes prior to their scheduled appointment time. Just follow the main hallway all the way to the end and go through the door on your right. From there, the beta testing area is just down the smaller hallway to your right. Rebecca, a personal note. Some members of the fan club may be a little exuberant. We realize that you're not a babysitter and appreciate the extra trouble you'll be going to this week. This beta test is very important to getting our hubris software venture off to a good start. So please do your best to keep things under control out front. You'll be compensated at time and a half for the week as a token of our gratitude for your trouble. That's actually a, the fact that she's getting paid extra from Robco, from anybody in the Fallout universe is actually very impressive by Robco. Press release. Hubris Comics and Vault Tech Incorporated unveil Vault Boy meets Hell's Chain Gang, limited five-part miniseries. The very best in invincible entertainment and impenetrable vaults team up to bring comic fans a gripping grimoire of greatness. From their headquarters in Washington, D.C., Hubris Comics announced today plans to bring a beloved American icon into the Hubris I um, Comics universe, none other than the beloved Vault Boy character. Vault Boy was a perfect choice for our new Hell's Chain Gang series, says Hubris Comics Chief of Publishing Peter Shiner, in which those vis valiant vigilantes take on Chairman Chang's commie cyborg corpse, 
After all, Vault Boy knows a thing or two about going up against that red menace. The five-part miniseries will feature an alternate future in which Chinese communists have invaded America. Vault Boy and Hell's Chain Gang are the last best hope for America to break free from the shackles of communism in this cautionary tale of vigilance. I love this. It's always been Vault Tech's mission to educate and protect our countrymen from the communist threat, commented Vault Tech Public Relations Executive Joanne Strasser. This exciting project is a perfect opportunity to thrill young Americans while sending home an important message for us all. Every good American must help shoulder the burden of freedom and always be wary of the communist threat. The first issue of this miniseries will be available on newsstands everywhere this holiday season. About Hubris Comics, Hubris Comics, a branch of Hubris Publishing, headquartered in Washington, D.C., has been producing printed entertainment since 2021. That's this year! Hey! I can't wait for their debut in the real world. Hubris Comics are known for such popular properties as Grog the Barbarian, Hell's Chain Gang, and The Inspector. Wow. Wow. Okay. Looks like there was beta testing for software. Maybe there's a video game in here. Um. Oh, man. Uh, pre-war book. What do we got in Hubris Comics here? Definitely sounds ominous, but is it ominous? Hubris Comics Utility Tunnels. Now this looks more ominous. Hello? I'm a huge nerd in real life, so I love going into like comic stores and nerd stores in these Fallout games. Fallout 4 had a really good one. I really liked the Fallout 4 nerd store. Ah, shit. Ghouls! Boom! Damn, that was a hell of a strike. Bam! Got the ghoul behind him? Nice. Oh, okay. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Another ghoul? Okay, dog meat. We're well done, well done. Dog meat's on a tear with these guys. Just in general, dog meat's on a tear. Dog meat's doing absolutely amazing so far. I can't believe I'm a companion that's still alive. Buff out and psycho are about to wear off, I think. Yeah. No wonder we were doing so much damage. I forgot our psycho was active. We almost one shot a roamer. That was crazy. Oh, definitely turn off the turrets. Why are there turrets in a in a comic shop? Nice. That was lucky. I mean, totally planned. Oh, deactivate. Uh, activate for a second. Oh, no, 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 no. Deactivate. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that Mark V turret there. No thanks. Ooh, radiation. Okay. Let's take a Radax and a Rataway because our radiation is already actually pretty decent. They're just feral ghouls. Let's just punch them. We don't need to sneak on these guys. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man, the standard feral ghouls, we just one tap. Give them a little, oh, and they're gone. Okay. Uh, pilot lights. Man, can you imagine this being your, oh, hello. This being your desk, Dean's Electronics. Hey, I almost missed that. I wonder how many skill books I've missed so far. Probably a lot, if I had to guess. They're pretty well hidden. Uh, this is going up. Door? Into the service tunnels? What? Sewer great to the capital wasteland? No, we're doing Hubris Comics right now, hello? And we still have that whole other area to explore, too. We're not going out that way. No way. Where does this way go? What do we got? Oh, shit, it's a glowing one. Alright, these guys are actually pretty respectable. Nice crit. Nice. Ow, what the hell was that? You just exploded. Oh, what? Hello? Oh, wow. Right away, stim pack. Stim pack, ammo, bottle cap. Oh man, this guy was pretty set up. 
Until he wasn't. Stealth Boy even. He could have snuck out of here. What is he doing? I know Stealth Boys don't last forever, but that could have gotten you pretty far along. That zombie sound. This doesn't go anywhere? No? Okay. That's just a standard parable. We'll save bats for roamers and glowing ones. These get one tap, so we don't need to bother using bats on them. Oh, I'm sorry, dog. I didn't mean to talk to you, but good boy. Very good. Okay. All right. So far, so good down here, I guess. That's a roamer. All right. That... <laughs> The, like, visuals from the gas. I wonder if that's how they're supposed to look. Or if something's gone wrong with that. I could, I could believe either answer. Hubris Comics, Comics Publishing. Okay. That's somewhere we might go. Does this tunnel around? This hook around here? Ooh. Ooh, radiation. Ooh. Ooh, radiation. Ooh. Oh, another roamer. Hello. Goodbye. Bam. I just realized we walked up to that Brotherhood of Steel guy with a hockey mask and a power fist, and he still didn't question us. What a kind soul. Local map. Have we seen it all? Yeah, it looks like it. No. Oh, yeah, that's the sewer grate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. Hubris Comics, Comics Publishing. Uh-oh. Into the building proper here. Oh, look at all this. Pretty cool. They're all downstairs, looks like. Nope, there's one upstairs. God, it was a roamer. <laughs> Just blow them up. They're worth a good bit of experience for how easy they are to kill. That's a lot like Fallout 4 too. Feral ghouls are worth a lot of experience for how much, for how easy are, they are to deal with. Okay. Come on. There we go. Let's see. No pre-war books or magazines anywhere here? You know, we gotta check. Nice job, dog feet. <laughs> Still more enemies you're detecting, huh? Right, I swore off, okay. Bathrooms. Okay. Let's heal up on the water fountain a little bit here. That'll do. I guess we head back up. Trenton, 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 what have we got ourselves into? We're just exploring the wasteland randomly. Probably most people would argue that's not a good call. It's a lot of people typing. Did they all have to type the comics by hand? Like, did they not have a machine for it? They had to have people typing it out? Or like, wh oh, why are there so many typewriters and desks? And they're all empty. Okay. Uh, okay. Where do these two different ways go? That's an ominous hallway. Whoa. Beta testing. Hey, we were looking for this. Come on, give me a video game. No? Damn. Desk. Put something in it. Bottle caps. Okay. Okay, just a bunch of desks with basically nothing in them. Oh, shit. Dog meat. Okay. All right. All right. That was definitely trapped. Is someone down here? 
What is this? Reign of Grelok Beta. That's what I wanted to see. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a video game. One terminal still working. We're going to be one of the first and one of the last people to play a video game in this universe. Well, I guess not last, because I guess uh, there are like full-fledged like actual games in 4. Did we just trip another trap? Oh, we're over and covered, really? Hmm, really? Really, really, really? Really, really? Oh, we'll keep the repellent stick in case we need it, I guess. Uh, man, those rifles are worth a lot of money. The naughty night where I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, we don't need this. No, we really don't. Nope, dropping that. Where is a ghoul? I heard a ghoul. Whoa. There it is, glowing one. Okay. Bats. Blow them up. Nice kick. Nice. Don't explode. Damn it, he exploded. Alright, back to dropping cartons of cigarettes. Alright, here we go. Ooh, baby, give me a video game. Uh, oh, it's one of these video games. Okay. Inventory, rusty sword, drinking flask. Your weapon, rusty but trusty. A very small flask to carry water. Planes, look around. You're standing in a wide plain. Foothills stretch to the north where clouds gather around an ominous peak. A dirt path winds from a lonely chapel to the east through the plains where you're standing. Okay, chapel to the east and south into a bustling town. Wispy mists gather over marshland in the west where a thin tower stands alone in the bog. Okay. Uh, let's go to the lonely chapel in the east. Look around. You stand at the end of a dirt path, facing a small chapel. The stucco walls are faded, many roof tiles are missing. The great oaken doors are locked, the congregation is nowhere to be found. A small cemetery of crooked headstones lies in the shadow of the cracked steeple. The dirt path winds westward through a great featureless plain. A zombie totters aimlessly nearby, there's an open grave nearby. Use sword on the zombie. Uh, examine the grave? Deep empty grave in the cemetery. Several bloated rats floating in a foot of filthy water at the bottom. Don't fall in. Ooh, gross. Your blow knocks a zombie into the grave. Okay. There's a deep... Okay. A grotesque zombie head is stuck on a root near the top of the grave. You bag the horrific trophy as proof of your deed. Okay. Gross. Uh, we already looked around, right? Okay, go west. Uh, go south to town? Look around. You're standing in the dusty market square of a quiet town. Many of the shops and homes lie abandoned. And the citizens that can be seen speak in hushed voices, casting furtive glances at the darkened skyline in the distant north. The ringing of an anvil breaks the silence regularly, where a mustachioed blacksmith bends over his work in a nearby tent. The blacksmith is here, working. A priest is here, drinking. Uh, speak of the priest. The priest directly curses the undead who have defiled his church. You present him with a decapitated zombie pet head from your bag. Praise you, he hiccups. Perhaps Grelok's influence isn't so strong. With that, he tosses, tosses his decanter over on the head and tosses it into a fireplace where it bursts into purple flame and burns up almost instantly. I must gather the faithful, he presses a brass key into your palm. Please, help yourself to what little may be of use at my chapel. Oh shit, I speak of the blacksmith. Your eyes water from the smoke and smarmy heat inside the tent. The huge man swipes, white, swipes sweat from his bald head and looks up from his work. There's no shortage of work to be done with Relic Square and everyone can witness. Leave me to fill in my order, stranger. With that, the blacksmith dismisses you from his tent and douses a hot blade in water, hissing with steam. Huh. This is cool. It's like I'm actually playing a whole ass game right now. Go north, go east to the chapel. Look around. There should be a chest. Uh, chapel doors are unlocked. Examine the chapel. Dust motes hung, hang lazily in the shafts of colored light stretching across the chapel from peaked windows. The pews, pulpit, and everything else are covered in a fine mist. There is a very deep stone cistern near the entrance. It is full to the brim with blessed water. There is more than enough water here to fill your tiny flask. Okay. Did we do that? Drinking flask? Oh, shit. 
Your flask is full of blessed water. Okay. Alright. Uh, go west then, I guess. Uh, swamp, look around. You're standing on a narrow stone path in a dark marsh. Greasy bubbles float to the top of the bog waters on either side and pop lazily, spattering your legs with muck and slime. Gross. A short stone tower squats here. No door is visible, and the stones are smooth and polished. A balcony juts out midway up the tower's face. The heady smells of incense mix with the nauseating stench of the swamp. The stone path unfurls eastward towards a broad plain beyond the marshes. A wizard is here, gesticulating wildly from his balcony. Talk to the wizard. The wizard beckons at you wildly from his balcony. You're here! You've arrived! He exclaims. After an awkward silence, he jabs an excited finger into a crystal ball, nearly knocking it into the bog. I've seen, you see. You're the one to defeat Grelic. <laughs> the little man hops onto the railing, spinning a pirouette. Now the time has come to play my part. Toss up the gem. The wizard's brow furrows. Got things a bit out of order, have I? Come back when you've got a powerful gemstone. Soon I've never got to fulfill a prophecy for a before. Uh, okay. I guess we're ahead of the game here. I don't want to go south, though. Speak to the blacksmith? No? Speak of the priest? Uh, oh. The priest is drinking water, pouring over a thick leather-bound volume connected by a thick leather thong to his neck. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know what that means in, the, in this context. He notices you only when you come very close. Ah, good friend, have you gone ahead to open the chapel? My body still aches with drink, I'm afraid, but soon I will gather the congregation and return myself. Uh, aren't the isn't the north like super deadly? Grawlock is here spewing heresies. Uh, mountainside, look around. You're on the craggy, wind-blasted face of a mountain. Storm clouds coil above the summit, pelting you in the sparse vegetation with torrential downpour. Far below, beyond the foothills, a wide plain stretches across the southern horizon. Grelok is here, spewing heresies. A glint between the rocks catches your eye. Oh, the glint! Investing glinting object. Take a rough gemstone from the rocks. Go south. Then we go west. Talk to the wizard. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> the slayer of Grelok approaches, raw stone in hand, just as I've seen! The wizard's pointy hat bobs excitedly as he points a finger at you. Suddenly, a pale orange arc of light extends from the knobby finger and draws the gemstone from your bag before you can react. The gemstone halts and hovers in the air before the wizard's nose. Essence be true! Powers renew! Fatty hoodoo! And with that, he slaps the hovering stone, smashing it against the smooth stone in the tower. In a burst of light, the stone splits into two, and one lands in each outstretched palm of the hopping little wizard. Shard for the sword! Wrap her in iron, and she'll find Grelick's black heart for you! Take the shaft, too! You'll need payment for a smith to forge the weapon! He tosses the stones back, which you leap forward to catch safely. Okay, now we go to the smith. This is de it sounds like an errand, almost. <laughs> Blacksmith. Blacksmith regards you gruffly and is about to dismiss you when you produce the polished gemstone from your bag. He sets his hammer aside and twirls his mustache. All right, fine stone this is. He says, admiring the faceted stone. What would you be needing then? Following your careful instructions, the smithy reforges your rusty sword with the magical shard at the center of the blade. Uh, speak with the priest. Priest is drinking water. Uh, I soon I'll gather conjugates to return to myself. Uh, your eyes water from the smoke and smarmy heat inside the tent. The huge man swipes. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Inventory. Magic sword. Enchanted weapon to defeat Grelok. Can we just. Can we do that now? Is that something we can do? Uh, use magical sword on Grelok? When you draw your sword, Grelok lowers his great horned head and bellows laughter in your face. You grit your teeth and swing a mighty two-handed blow, the magical blade ringing clearly, even amid the tumult of throaty cackling. You swing the sword so fiercely it escapes your grip and hurtles into the open maw of the monstrosity. Lost from sight in the arid darkness of Grelok's throat, you step back as Grelok jerks his mouth shut and stands upright. He is still for a moment, then starts clawing at his neck. Muffled, a, gr a ringing can be heard as if from a great distance. Suddenly, Grelick's chest bursts and a fount of viscous green blood. The ringing can be heard cl clearly now, and as thick lifeblood oozes around the protruding tip of the magic sword, the storm clouds swirling the peak are already clearing. Grelock is defeated. The end. Thanks for playing. Wow. <laughs> Victory! Game over. <laughs> uh, okay. That was, that was okay.
That was interesting. That's a really old-fashioned uh, game right there. Holy shit. Those text-based games. I've played one or two as, like, a joke. But, uh... I mean, that might be the best text-based game I've played. Fuck. <laughs> there you- there you- Ah! Ah! You okay, dog meat? Okay. Moving on. Uh, is this the entrance? Is that the entrance right there that I saw earlier? No, that's not the entrance. What is- Oh, Jesus, more traps! They're everywhere! Uh, desk, okay. That was that was something. I mean, we 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 saved the world from Grelok. Incredible, I know. I'm just the natural. What can I say? This is this is the entrance. We we did the whole place. No, no way, no way. That was it. I mean, the video game was cool and all, but Hubris Comics. No way. It just ends with that. Is there another way? There, there is another way we didn't go. We didn't go this way. The director's office or something? Gotta be. Uh oh. <laughs> Doggy, you okay? <laughs> that was cool. Alright, now we're talking. Somewhere new here. Okay. Alright. Is that a pre-war book? No? Okay. Hmm. Yeah? You think so? I don't know, buddy. Questionable. But, you know, we're both entitled to our opinions. So you believe that, I'll believe this. Uh, okay. Let's go. What is, uh, Hubris Comic Printing Elevator? What do we got? Turrets taking out ghouls. Sure. I'm okay with that. Interesting. I knew there had to be more to this place. Uh oh, that's a lot of mines. Oh! There's a cr there's a goddamn dude in there. Let's take Medex. 52 DR. That's nice. We have 34 Nuka Colas. We really need to get home and <laughs> cool those off. We don't need 34 Nuka Colas, do we? Yeah, we kind of do. We got to stock up. Who knows how many we'll be able to find? There's a limited amount. Oh. Ah, 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 ah. Stop. Stop. Oh, Jesus. Why did you stop shooting? Hello. There he goes. There we go. Boom. Very nice. Okay. Whew. Now to get to this guy. And run. Run. Okay. Bottle caps. Glowing one. Punch his lights out. Get it? Because he's glowing? Lights out? That's funny. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. That's funny. <laughs> Oh no. No. <laughs> Just practicing for the day I become a dad, I guess. All right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't understand why he's attacking us. What did we Damn it. What did we do? Nice new cola. I know, dog meat. I know. I know. I know. You're angry. I get you. I get you. All right, feral ghouls, get them. Away they go. 
More minigun ammo for us. Are they locked out? Boom! Kick to the shin kills that feral ghoul. And boom! Kick to the shin. Kick to the arm, I guess. <laughs> okay. Sure. If you say so. Alright, dog meat, you ready? Yeah, they were definitely locked out. So ghouls couldn't have even reach them in the first place. He's safe from ghouls because they can't unlock this door. I'm going to find you. Yeah? Here we go. Mad Johnny West. Okay. Bang. Boom! Now drop that weapon. Nice. Bang. Very good. Okay. Another minigun, thank you. Three psycho, two stim packs. Okay. Thanks, Mad Johnny West. His minigun's in better shape than ours. Oh yeah, give us all this good stuff here. Look at that. Okay, Hubris Comics. I'm glad we turned around to find it. We almost didn't even search this place. We almost got distracted by other things. Did we really level up again? Wow. Level 14 on day 14. We're keeping up the streak. <laughs> we, just can't, we just can't stop leveling. Okay. So, repair 60. Let's see. Medicine 65. Repair 65. Sneak 65. Unarmed 68. Does that do it for us? I think so. I think that works. Yeah, I think that works. Continue. Level 14. New perks, maybe? What do we got? Adamantian Skeleton. Your limbs only receive 50% of the damage they normally would. Uh, no, that's fine. Stim packs are in big supply. Chemist perk. Any chems you take last twice as long. Now that's considerable, I suppose. Contract Killer. With the Contract Killer perk, any good character you kill will have an ear on their corpse. This ear can then be sold to a certain person whose identity is disclosed when you take the perk for caps and negative karma. Cyborg. You've made permanent enhancements to your body. The Cyborg perk instantly adds 10% to your damage, poison, and radiation resistances, and 10 points to your energy weapon skill. Holy shit. That's a lot of stuff. Lawbringer. Once you have the Lawbringer perk, any evil character you kill will have a finger on their corpse. This figure can then be sold to a certain person whose identity is disclosed if you take a perk for caps and positive karma. Now, we might take that, I guess. Light Step. With the Light Step perk, you'll never set off an enemy's mines or floor-based trap. Traps. <laughs> That's almost too good to not take for us, because we run into so many. Oh my god. 50% more damage with the Flamer would make the Flamer pretty damn deadly, actually. Master Trader. Everything 25% off? Nah. Action Boy is at level 16. Can't wait for that. 25 action points. Whoa. Better criticals? 50% damage bonus every time a critical hit is scored on an opponent. Whoa. Level 16 is the level. 50% less likely to develop an addiction to chems. The tag skill gives you a fourth tag skill, instantly raising it by 15. Not bad. Yeah, 16's got some good level. Got some good perks. Gotta take Cyborg. 10%? To damage, poison, and radiation resistance, and 10 energy weapon skill. We're not even really a big energy weapon guy, but between toughness and this, that's 20% damage reduction if we're naked. Done. Look at this. Our damage resistance is 60 right now. How is it 60? That doesn't make any sense. Ah, oh, medics, got it. <laughs> With Medex, it's DR60 right now. Because we have 15 from this, 20 from our perks for 35, and then 25 from Medex. That's wild. That's so good. And our poor recon armor is breaking on us. More minigun ammo. More minigun ammo. New Cola Quantum, some darts, desk. There's a magazine right next to this computer. I'm going to take that before I forget about it. Grognak the Barbarian. Of course Grognak the Barbarian is here. Sure. Melee weapons plus one. Okay. 
Uh, capacity. Oh, shit. That actually counts. Hold up. In Fallout 4, accidentally clicking on one of these, like, jump things doesn't actually count. Uh, compared. Yeah, that fits. Ah. Okay. Ascended. No. Reverted. That works. And that works. Man, we are leveling up so wildly fast. Deactivate turret system, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, there was no way to turn off those turrets realistically. Making it all the way around and then fighting this guy and then turning them off. Maybe. Alright. He didn't even have a bed, this crazy ass dude. He just slept on the floor, I guess. Speaking of, what time is it? It is 8 o'clock. So that was pretty wild. Hubris Comics. That was a full adventure for sure. Full adventure for sure. A few more rooms first before we leave. What do we got? More first aid and stuff. Ah, ah, ah. There you go. Five stim packs. Damn. Three more. So basically eight right there. Three more book. Thank you. Hubris Comics Terminal. Unlock the foreman door. Do we need that to do that, or can we pick it? So I'd rather pick it for the experience if we can. Okay. Or is the foreman door where the guy is? Oh, I bet the foreman door is where the guy was. Oh, yeah. Just because there, otherwise there's no way to get to him if you don't have average lock picking. That makes sense. Okay, there's that room. I just, I didn't even realize in that room that the, there was no ceiling, really. Printing press terminal. Turn on the printing press. Uh, check manuscript. Grind act the Barbar Barbarian 361. Red ink low. Low grade pulp available. Turn it on. Malfunctioning? Uh, how badly? Ah! Whoo, that quick reaction time. Uh, but will it make a book for me to read? That's what I'm asking. <laughs> that's that's what I'm curious about. Where does it spit out? Pretty press activate elsewhere. Uh, hello? Any of these gonna go and make me my magazine, maybe? Grognak the Barbarian, 361? No? None of them? Damn. I was really hoping one of them would make, make me my, uh, Magazine. Uh, hello? Is, is that in the way from doing what it's supposed to do? Okay. Well, alright, I'm gonna leave this here, and, uh, next time we come back, I will have already left Hubris Comics, and we will continue from where we were last time. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still here with me and Trenton this deep into the Fallout 3 Let's Play, it's been a blast seeing all these locations that I definitely missed my first time around over 10 years ago. I am loving it. Thank you for being here. It's really, it's really fun. All right, so if you like the video, consider liking it. Uh, if you really liked it, consider subscribing. If you do neither of those or only one of those, no hard feelings whatsoever. And I will see all of you next time.